Hey, this is Jim Bergman for MeasureQuick, and uh, boy, California, we've got some exciting stuff for you guys, because I've been to California, and I've walked around with your Raiders, and your job is tough. So we found some new ways to make your job easier, and we're going to change the game for California. And uh, I, I tell you what, I honestly think uh, we might even see more people become compliant, because uh, who the heck wants to do what you guys have to do, man? It's, it's some tough stuff. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna walk you through the new MeasureQuick application, show you how we gather all the data, and show you how we generate a report for the heating and cooling for Title 24 for California. So on the side menu, we have our menu button here. We got a test mode. We built a specific test mode in for Title 24. You click on that button, and that's gonna set up the application for Title 24 testing. It's gonna walk you through everything you need to do sort of step by step, and it's a really easy process. Uh, even I can do it, right? So the first thing you got to realize is everything we're doing is based upon a geolocation. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on geolocation, and we need to mark that equipment. So I'm going to drag this pin over, and I'm going to drop it on my condensing unit, and that's going to do a couple of different things. Number one, it's going to geocoordinate or uh, locate the condensing unit so we know the exact location, but it's also, when we go into the project information, going to pull in, in here our, uh, our, our address, uh, city, and state, and zip. All that stuff's done. I'm going to go ahead and put in a project name here. I'm just going to say Jim, uh, a job number. We'll just put in the number here, 444, a Raider. We're going to, we're going to, oh, O-L-I-V-E-R, Oliver. Wow, I don't know where I got that name from. And feet squared, 1,700 square feet. So pretty easy to do. Jurisdiction, um, we'll put uh, uh, Summit. And uh, incentive program, none. Uh, client phone number, 555-555-5555. And now you can see down at the bottom here, we got tests to complete. So there's four different tests in California, refrigerant charge, airflow, fan efficacy, and duct testing. We've got to go through all four of those, and uh, that's usually what takes the time in California. So now you can see I've got an iConnect sitting here. I've got all the probes hooked up. So I'm ready to do my refrigerant charge testing. I've got a, a low-pressure probe. Suction line temperature, this is my outdoor air temperature. I've got a high pressure probe, liquid line and discharge line temperature. And down at the bottom here, I have a Testo 770-3 watt meter so I can get my watts of my condenser and I get my fan watt draw. And then I've got a 420 capture hood here and the capture hood is gonna be used to pull the data in for the airflow readings on this thing. So we're gonna make this, I'm gonna show you how easy this thing is to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my system information. In this case here, window unit, package unit. I'm going to put in here, take this out. I'm going to tap in 0.75. This is a, oh, 0.75. It's got a really neat edit feature. You can hit delete and go back and change it, and, uh, which I just did. This is a 9,000 BTU in it, so three quarters of a ton. It is 410A. It is 400 CFM per ton, but it's a capillary tube. So we're going to go ahead and hit capillary tube on there, and you can see automatically it changes the superheat to a calculated value because that's what we do on cap tube systems. I'm going to go through and uh, look at my newer existing. So this is, uh, we'll go ahead and say that uh, this is a, uh, a new condenser and uh, it's got a new coil and it's got a furnace, let's say, and we'll say the furnace is existing. Um, the ducts, well, we'll make new ducts today. And our exemptions here, um, styrofoam, no asbestos, so we're going to leave those blank, but those are just buttons you can toggle on and off. And we're going to scroll down a little bit further here, electrical configuration. It is single phase, but in this case here, it's 115 volt. And it is PSC motor, you can do ECM or PSC. Go down a little further, if we had some extended performance ratings, like uh, off your heat loss calculation, we can enter those, but we don't have any of that stuff to do. So go back to the home button. Now the cool thing is all these measurements are streaming in live. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit outdoor. If I look at my outdoor measurements, you can see everything has got a little iConnect logo next to it. So we're pulling in all of our pressures and temperatures live nothing to input here. This is going to be really, really fast. Same thing with our indoor measurements. You can see that all the measurements are coming in, but what about airflow? So I got airflow measured CFM here. I'm going to tap on that. And all I'm going to do is double click my home button on my iPad. I'm going to go into the Testo 420. You can see it's reading the airflow right here, 242 CFM. Go down to the bottom corner, hit share, hit measure quick, and the data is going to come right from the capture hood. Boom, right into measure quick. And guess what it did? Threw a Tesla logo up there so we knew it came off a Tesla device. This is the beauty of measure quick. We know 100% certainty that all the readings are uneditable and what device they came off of. And we know geolocation where every reading was taken. So this really makes anti-gaming a tough 
not or the next impossible thing to do. Pretty awesome stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put in a 0.5 here. And we're just going to put 0.5 in like, and again, we use that fancy uh, delete button because I typoed it here. Put 0.5 in and I'll show you on a report. This is the manual input. We can look at our performance readings. So in this case here, uh, we'll scroll through and I'm going to scroll through and you'll see, oh, wow, no EER, no fan efficacy. Well, we haven't grabbed electrical yet. Again, super easy thing to do. So this is a, a, a power meter here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit power for both of these. And we're going to read Watson directly. Tap on the first one. All I'm going to do is double click my home button, go into my smart probes app because that's where my power comes in at. And you can see the, 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 the VA, the watts, the, ver, um, the power factor all there. All I'm going to do is hit share and that measure quick again. And boom, that comes over 365 watts and it's good to go. Now, all I got to do is tap on the lower one here and I'm going to double click on my home screen again, go back to Testo smart probes, but now I got to move my watt meter. So you can see that's reading 400 watts. I'm going to move this up to my orange wire, which is my fan. And I got to give this a second because the Testo takes about five readings and averages them. So it's going to stabilize here and you can see now we're at 26 watts of power. So down at the bottom here, I just hit share, measure quick, and boom, that pops back over and it actually changed to 35 watts where we're waiting. But you see how that comes in and we got the idea. I'm going to hang this back down here just to get it out of the way. So now hit the check mark button. All my readings are in. I got my EER, I got my SEER, I got my fan efficacy. All this stuff was looking good. Now again, we're, we're, in, a, we're in a house here. It's 30% probably relative humidity. It's dry. And so you can't rely on the ear readings and things like this. Again, this is sort of a convoluted little setup here, but it's, it's designed to show you how the app works, not how a, a window air conditioner works here. So I can see I also captured my outdoor air data. It's pretty cold here today, 44 degrees. So now I want to go through all that stuff is done, go back to the home screen here, and I can look at my test results. So this menu key allows us to look at all of the different things here. Now, let's say we got to do our duct test here also. So in this case here, I just hit location, and uh, we're going to say we're in a crawl space because I'm, uh, I'm inside the house here. We're going to grab the uh, insulation value here. We're, this is cooling, so we're going to click on the cooling airflow. And it's automatically calculating my target CFM leakage and my leakage rate. I can tap on the manual override and pull that in. I can say my tested CFM, I can say is, uh, let's say that we go, it's, it's 56, and uh, hit my down keyboard here, and you can see it's gonna pass automatically. And so it's showing you at 56 CFM allowable leakage, we're past. I'm gonna tap on this barcode scanner. Barcode will pop up, and literally all I do here is come up to the barcode, it identifies it and pulls in a number. So really simple to do. I'll go ahead and tap this again. We'll pull up it again, hold it over the barcode. And if the equipment's got barcodes, that barcode reading comes right in. And if you have to go in and edit this thing, you just tap on the field, you can back up and edit it. Depends on the manufacturers do of them. Some of them tie model and serial number into the same barcode. Some of them have other information there, but hey, it's better than typing, that's for sure. So I'm gonna hit the check mark button, go back into my menu. I'm going to look at my test results, and you can see that my duct test passed, my temperature split passed, my subcool passed, my superheat passed, my airflow verification failed because, hmm, oh, the capture hood's wide open to the top here. It doesn't surprise me. So now we know pass fail automatically. Again, super easy, super to do, fast to do. I'm going to hit the record button at the bottom. That's going to allow me to view the report. And at this point here, I can share this data. Now in a couple days here, we're gonna have this set up so it automatically goes out to the registry and populates that data. So we are literally pass fail in the field right now. All this data can be, can be done that fast. We hit export PDF and there's your report generated. All your readings, you can see, we'll zoom in here on this Testo. The Testo was measured off the capture hood. You can see all the calculated values with a little calculator, all the iConnect values, um, our estimated airflows, our BTUs all that information in, done, and ready to go. So you can see how simple this works and how wonderful this is going to be for California. It is going to change the game out there for you guys. And we really, really hope you guys enjoy using this and we're looking forward to your feedback. This is Jim Bergman for MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.